Hey what's up guys, Giacomo here. Before diving into the many strap options I'll be showcasing in this video, allow me to present these remarkable models of Tudor Black Bay. The Tudor Black Bay GMT is arguably one of the most popular and desirable timepiece in the Tudor lineup. The red and blue 24 hours rotating bezel and the Snowflake GMT red hand work together to make it possible to read the second time zone. Manufacturer caliber COC certified 70 hours power reserve. Stainless steel 41mm case with a mix of polished and brushed finish. One thing of note common to all the black bays is that beautiful beveling between the flanks of the case and the lugs. It makes for a really refined look. Equally impressive is this Tudor Black Bay Chrono. The Black Bay Chrono is known for its sporty and vintage inspired design. It features a 41mm case with a fixed tachymeter scale on the bezel which can be used in conjunction with the stopwatch function to read speed. The manufacturer caliber cased in this Black Bay Chrono is column wheel, which allows for smooth and precise operation through the pushers at 2 and 4 o'clock. While they both typically come with a stainless steel bracelet, leather strap or fabric, pairing it with a NATO strap can add a unique and casual touch to it. I'm not a fan of NATO straps that come in multiple colors, they are hard to match with the watch for one thing and in general I'm looking for a solid look when it comes to pairing. I am more focused on texture, after trying so many cheap looking straps, it's nice to stumble upon nicely crafted ones and inexpensive too, all of the straps I'm showcasing are in the range of 4 to 5 dollars, cheap doesn't necessarily mean cheap looking. Like this seatbelt NATO for instance, a seatbelt NATO strap is a variation of the traditional NATO strap on top of being made from standard nylon material, it is constructed using a seatbelt like weaving, typically thicker and more robust than regular nylon resembling that weaving used in car seatbelts. What adds to this design as well is the alternate webbing used on the sides, it creates a nice contrast, it makes for a truly awesome look. Now, pairing a strap with this white dial chrono is not as easy as one might think. It is a matter of taste and personal choice after all, but it's not like the Moon Watch for example, with which anything goes really. There is already a color combination of white and black with this panda dial which kind of limits one's options. Black is the straightforward choice, like with the seatbelt NATO, it is a nice look, comfortable as well, seatbelt NATOs have a tendency to a smooth texture. I would also consider tan, looking really for a neutral color for this pairing, not as eye-catching as black though. Different materials provide different looks, like in the case of this coarse woven fabric, it has its own appeal but not as smooth as seatbelt when it comes to tucking in the excess of the loose end of the strap. Same texture on this black version, a dull finish that will allow for the watch case to truly stand out. What I actually wonder is how well it will withstand the test of time, how long before it shows fraying due to contact on sharp surfaces. For the GMT, I was inspired by the original fabric strap that comes with the watch, when it comes with fabric. This particular example came with a steel bracelet. I couldn't find anything to match that look, other than this blue and red, interesting SQ weaving, not bad though. I have a 18cm wrist and not much tucking in seems necessary with this or any of the other straps. I find that tan is an excellent alternative as well, however it will have to be seatbelt for me, tan has a quality of blending in with the navy blue and burgundy red subdued tint. Black would be my second best option on this GMT, it really goes with anything and seatbelt of course, I just cannot think of a better design for a NATO. This camouflage option seems to be at home with the white of the dial. It's possibly the best use that I've made of this strap, so far I just had it lying around. I don't know what it is, but camouflage designs are not so popular on straps. However, it kind of gives this white dial chrono an adventurous look, I don't dislike it. Some of these NATO straps feature a pin buckle that resembles the design used by Tudor in their own fabric straps. Hardware is not bad either, keepers and buckles seem machined rather than pressed. This is something I pay attention to, using poorly finished metal can significantly diminish the aesthetic appeal of a strap. This example came with a boon strap, the awkward padding where the watch case sits can be removed as well, it just requires the right tools. I was able to find this rather inexpensive leather strap substitute which almost matches the original for color, texture and stitching. Really comfortable as well, not too shabby, at $5 including case and removal tools. 
In addition, the use of easy clip spring bars allow for effortless attachment to the case without the need for any tools. Overall, it is a convenient feature that adds to its appeal. I hope you guys found this video useful and or inspirational. Pairing watches with straps is fun and all of the more so in the presence of these Tudor models, which allow for so many material options and color combinations. It is a matter of taste after all and I went with what I really like, but possibilities are endless really. It is just about the final result one wants to achieve. And so I'm wrapping this one up. Thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.